Columbus police, city leaders, and federal leaders are working to bring violent crime down even more. Numbers did go down in the right direction in 2022, but they say their work is far from over. The director of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives was in Columbus today. NBC4's Eric Halperin tells us the plans for growing partnership between the ATF and the city of Columbus. Mayor Andrew Ginther says there are three big plans coming out of today's meeting with the ATF. The common theme from both the local and federal leaders, public safety is the top priority. This kind of collaboration, such as represented by the partners who are standing behind me, is what it's going to take to get control of illegal guns in our city. The Department of Public Safety, Police, Mayor Andrew Ginther, and the ATF director coming together to try to make Columbus safer. Part of the work focuses on getting illegal guns off the streets. These illegal guns are saturating our communities and getting into the wrong hands, leaving children without parents, families devastated, and communities living in fear. The local leaders met with ATF Director Steve Dettelbach Thursday. According to Mayor Ginther, three big items are now in the works. One is hiring two more assistant U.S. attorneys who will focus on prosecuting violent crime. Another is spending at least $5 million from this year's capital budget to expand Columbus's use of what's referred to as NIBIN. It's a national network of evidence from bullets and shell casings. The first pillar of crime gun intelligence is exactly what the mayor said, it is NIBIN. NIBIN plays a crucial role in the immediate aftermath of a shooting. The mayor also says a regional crime gun intelligence center will be developed. It'll involve Columbus police, other area police departments, and the ATF. We are doing everything we can. This is our top priority. And we believe the federal government plays a critically important role in helping to make sure this community and communities around the country are safer and healthier. And we're going to continue to lean into that. This is the second time in as many weeks Columbus city leaders have met with federal leaders about violence. Last week, there was a meeting with the U.S. Marshal's Office. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Eric Halpern, NBC4.